Hey guys, welcome to Travel Feels. Today you're gonna learn how to track graphics to your footage. But before we get into the tutorial, I just wanna say welcome to all the new subscribers. There's like a ton more of you all of a sudden. I think we've had something like 6,000 new subs in the last week, which is pretty crazy. That's like three times more subs than we had a week ago. That's triple the subs. So welcome to the channel. I'm super grateful you're here and I hope you get inspired to travel and learn how to make films all at the same time. So a lot of you have been asking about the intro to Travel Feels and how I was able to track the Travel Feels logo to the video clip. It's actually pretty simple. Now you do need After Effects, which is a little bit of downside if you don't know how to use it, but it's pretty easy and I should be able to show you how to do it even if you don't know that much about After Effects. But tracking things like text or graphics into your footage can be a really cool and unique way to do titles or just add in graphics into your footage if you need to show a logo or whatever other graphic you might have. It's a pretty flashy effect, I think, and a lot of people like it. And it's actually fairly simple to do as long as there's some movement in your footage and there's some points to be able to track to. We're gonna be looking at a few examples of drone footage just because there's a ton of movement. So it's easy to show the results to you guys. But you can do this with any footage, handheld footage, as long as it's not just taken on a tripod because that would defeat the purpose because you don't need to track anything if it's just stable. So this is with any moving shot, any handheld shot, gimbal shot, uh, drone shot, you can do this effect with. So let's get started. All right, so we're good to go. We have our little timeline here with three clips, the one from the intro and then another one here and then the last clip. And I'm gonna to try to show a few different examples of what to do. So first off, all we gotta do is grab all the clips, right click and replace with After Effects composition. This will bring it into After Effects and then we can do this effect in After Effects and then go back to Premiere and export from there. All right, so we have our clips here in After Effects now. Looks pretty similar. After Effects is kind of like a mix of Premiere and Photoshop. There's a lot more you can do in After Effects, but it's not as good for editing footage. So it's easier to edit in Premiere and then bring in After Effects, do your effects, um, whatever you wanna do, and then go back into Premiere and export from there. And first off, we're just gonna separate each of the three clips into their own composition so it's a little bit easier to work with them. So choose the first layer, go to Layer, Pre-Compose. You can also press Shift-Command-C. And then we're gonna name this Clip 1 and we're gonna say Move All Attributes. And click OK. And there we go, now we have a new composition with just that clip in there. And we're gonna do that for all three of them. So clip two, move attributes, and clip three, move attributes. All right, perfect. So now we have it all organized here. And let's go into our first clip here. And so the first step is to track your footage. And you can do this using the camera tracker tool. And if you don't have it showing up right away, you can go to window and then choose tracker here. And that will bring up this window here. And so what you do is you click on your clip here and then just click track camera. And this looks similar to warp stabilizer if you've ever stabilized footage, but this will go through the clip and basically choose different points that it can track on your video clip um, and then make null objects from those points. And what a null object is, is basically just a placeholder for a position in that frame. And so that's gonna be in 3D space, not only just 2D, but in 3D, that position. All right, so now we're done. And now you can see all these little points. These are what the camera tracker tracked. And you can see they stick with the video clip as they move along. And if you wanna make them bigger, you can just increase the size here to see them a little bit better. And then what I would do is I would find one of these points that shows throughout the whole clip and that'll be your best starting point. And so you can see that these, these points here are pretty much throughout the whole clip. So I'm just gonna right click and create null and camera. 
And what this does is it creates a camera and then a null object. So this null object is a certain position in this video clip and you can see that it stays there the whole time. So we have our camera here and we have our first null here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in my graphic here now. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna make it into a 3D layer. And how you do this is right now you can't see it. So you click toggle switches and modes here. And the 3D is this little 3D cube here. And you just click here and now it's a 3D layer. So as you can see right away, because of this camera, it moves already. But as you can see, this isn't really the best place for the graphic right here. It's too, way too far in front. And so what I would do is go back to the footage and click on the camera tracker. And I would find a point that's closest to where I want the graphic to be. So in this case, I actually want the graphic to be pretty much exactly where these two people are here. And I want it to kind of stick close to them. So I'm just gonna choose this little point on the head here and create a null. And that way I have this position now that's always gonna be right here um, on his head basically. And now what I do is I would take this null and you can press P for position and then just Command C to copy it and then choose your graphic and Command V to paste it. So now it's stuck to that same position. But you can also see that now the graphic is super small because it went farther away in Z space, um, farther back. So all you have to do is just scale up that graphic now and I can move it around a little bit. And now it's stuck there. And that's looking pretty good. I'm just gonna move it around a little bit. Yeah, that's, that's looking pretty good. Um, so really simple and easy. And in the intro, what I did to make this look a little bit more realistic, I just added a copy of this um, graphic and added it into the reflection here because you can see the reflection of the couple. And if this graphic is in the same place as these two people, you should technically be able to see the reflection here. So how you do that is you just duplicate that layer and I'm gonna bring it down and then I'm just gonna go into the effects and choose flip and add it onto that layer. And there we go. I'm just gonna move it so it looks about right. And we could maybe turn down the opacity a little bit of this layer so it's not quite as strong since it's a reflection. And there you go. Maybe to make it more realistic, we even add a little bit of a blur so we could do a fast blur. Just add one or maybe two of fast blur. And so it's a really subtle difference, but the reflection should technically be a little bit less sharp and a little bit more blurry than the actual graphic up here. And there you go, just like that, super easy to do. And you can do this with anything. I'll show you how to do it with text in a bit, but let's say for whatever reason, we wanted to track Donald Trump's head to this, we can definitely do that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in Mr. Trump's head here and we're gonna make that into a 3D object. And that's pretty big, so we're gonna scale it down a little bit. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the position here of this Travel Fields logo and we're gonna copy and paste it to Donald's head here. And there we go, we'll get rid of the Travel Fields here and you're good to go. Donald Trump is complacently watching over the couple here. And same thing, we could again uh, duplicate him and add the flip. And turn down the opacity a little bit. By the way, you can just press T for opacity and turn it down and fast blur and fast blur, we're gonna add a little bit of fast blur. And there we go, we got Donald tracked in now. Um, what if um, I didn't actually want it right where the couple is? Let's say 
Let's say I wanted to make it look like Donald Trump was gonna eat these two people here. We wanted to be a little bit behind and then come in on them as the camera moves forwards. Um, we can do that also. So let's just delete these and we're gonna bring in new Trump here. And again, remember to make it a 3D object. And then we're gonna copy the position and paste it. And now, so this is the exact same setup. It's exactly where we had it before. But if we want it further back, all you have to do is go into the position, press P, move it back in Z space. So we can keep moving it back and we'll scale it up a little bit. And now when we zoom in, he's actually behind the couple. And if we wanted him to be coming at them, we would just go into the position and here in the beginning, we add a keyframe. And then at the end here, we add, we just bring him closer. You can also use these little arrows here, bring him closer and bring him down. and keep bringing him closer. And there you go. He's coming at them like a monster. And I just wanna say I am neither against nor for Trump. This is not a political video. I just thought it would be a funny example. All right, so let's go into our next example. Um, we have this bridge shot here. We'll go into this clip. And same thing again, we'll just click on the clip and, and click track camera. And so there we go, we have the track. And sometimes what happens is it doesn't really get that much information. So here it only basically tracked the really far away mountains, but nothing really on this bridge. And if I'm tracking something, I probably wanna track something to maybe this bridge here or something, and there is no actual point there. So what you can try to do is use the advanced tools here and just click detailed analysis. And this should in theory get you more points um, to track to. So let's click detailed analysis and it's just gonna do the exact same thing all over again. When you do detailed analysis, it does take longer. So it's nice to first try with just the normal camera tracker and then if it doesn't work, then try detailed analysis and hopefully that works out for you. And this doesn't always work. Um, sometimes, like for example, if there's um, just a person and the background is completely blurred, it's not gonna do a very good track, but you can always try. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. All right, so now we have our new track and you can see that it added a whole bunch of points in the water here. Um, there's some points on the bridge here we could track to. And it even probably, yeah, there's some farther ones here. They're, they're so small that you can't even see them. Let's see. Yeah, there's there's a ton of ton more points on that. So now we have way more options to choose from um, to what we wanna track to. So keeping uh, in line with the Trump theme here, um, we could choose a really far away point here um, and create null and camera. So we bring in our Trump and maybe this time we wanna make him be like one of the mountains back there. So um, we're gonna click that to be a, a 3D object and we're gonna choose the position of that null that we made and paste it to Trump here and we're just gonna scale it way up. And let's see what that does. So yeah, that sticks pretty well. And now to make this a little bit more realistic, what we could do is cut away the mountain so he's behind the mountain here. So we're just gonna zoom in here. So we're just gonna zoom in here. And um, there's a few different ways of doing this, but the simplest way is to just mask out this little ridge here and then just go through a few keyframes and change it up. So as the frame is moving, the mask is also moving with it. So we could just go here and we're just gonna turn down the opacity of this layer so we can see a little bit better. And with the Trump layer selected here, we're just gonna make a little 
little quick mask here and you could obviously do this with more time and do it better, but that's good. And we're just gonna, you could press M, 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 M to get all the options for the mask. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna invert that and let's turn back the opacity up. And there we go. Now Trump is hiding behind the mountain, always watching. And as you can see, it moves a little bit. So we could just probably go to the end here, go to the beginning, make a keyframe in the mass path here in the beginning, and then go to the end. And we're just gonna double click and move that a little bit down. And we can also feather this a little bit to make it a little bit more realistic. And there you go. Trump is always watching over there behind the mountains. <laughs> All right, so let's do something more serious that we would actually do. Um, so let's go back into the tracker here. And I think I want to create a text and track it to this bridge here. So I'm going to choose a nice point here. I think this point is probably good. Create a null from that. And let's just make a text. Travel feels, it's a little bit too big. Well, we'll see actually, Make once we make it a 3D layer. All right, so it disappeared, we'll just position, copy that and paste it. All right, so it's actually tiny and we're just gonna scale it up and let's check that out now. All right, so that sticks pretty well. It, you can tell actually it's a, that track point was actually a little bit behind this um, was a little bit behind this part of the bridge. So what we could do is just bring it forwards a little bit and let's see if that's uh, still behind. So we're just gonna bring it forwards more and there we go. And what I would do here also is just kind of make it perpendicular to the bridge here so it looks a little bit better. So you can go to the rotation, so press R and play around with the rotation. So it kind of looks like it's almost, so it kind of looks like it's a part of, of the bridge here. Now you can see it's getting skewed a little bit because this is GoPro footage and the track thinks that it's a super wide angle with a lot of, a little, with a lot of distortion. So it's getting distorted a little bit on the corner there. Well, that's just something you'll have to deal with. We could try it on the other side here also without the distortion and rotate that a little bit more. And so that's looking pretty cool there. So there's a lot of different things you can do with this kind of stuff. Um, I've done some videos where I've made text and then added some lines to different points. So it almost looks like it's a structure in the, in the video clip. So it's a really easy way to do cool, um, cool text and just add them into your film, make them a little bit more dynamic than just having a flat text right in front. And then this third example, we can do kind of the same thing. So let's try and track it. Click track camera. All right, so we have our track here, got a whole bunch of points and we're just gonna choose um, Let's just choose one of these points here and create null and camera. And let's make another text layer here. Travel feels, feels. Let's make it a brighter color just so we can see it a little bit better. There we go. And then we're gonna make that into a 3D layer. And all right, so it ended up there which is actually kind of cool already. Um, we could just scale it up bigger. It's a little bit high, so let's just bring it down. And that's kind of a cool effect. So you can actually make these effects where you actually fly through your um, text. So if we bring this even closer in Z space, and we wanted to make this kind of an intro title that we fly through. There you go, it flies past you. And it's kind of a nice way to just um, focus on something else like the scenery behind it afterwards. Um, 
you could also add in another title back here um, and kind of transition from one title to the next with a fade or something like that. So how we would do that is we could just duplicate this travel field layer, travel fields layer, and we're just gonna move the position of it way back. And let's go forwards here. And let's say, and let's go with our tagline of inspire, travel, learn. And we're just gonna bring that a little bit closer together. And so there you have it, you have two different texts now. We could, we could bring this back still in Z space here and we can make it a little bit bigger. And what I would do here is I would fade in that second title a little bit later. So maybe somewhere like here, it starts fading in. Um, so we can do that with the opacity. So let's start off at zero and then add a keyframe. And then maybe once we get to like here, it's at a hundred. So now as we move through, this one appears and the next title's there. So it's a nice sequence of different titles that we could do here. Um, yeah, there's just so many things you could do with this. Just try and be creative and try different things. Try tracking to different points and adding different effects like this one. So there you have it, super easy, super simple. I know After Effects can seem a little daunting at first, but it's a really cool effect and really easy to do. And you can just, you know, choose one of your clips from your video and just replace it with an After Effects composition and track it with the camera tracker. And that way you have a really cool way of integrating your text or your logos or whatever graphics you have to your video clips. I always find it's a bit hard to make texts and titles look really cool and cinematic, but I think this is one of those sure ways to make it really cool and natural and cinematic at the same time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure you guys like and subscribe and there's gonna be lots more to come. And I'm super excited to say that tomorrow we're gonna to be posting the Travel Feels Maui video. We went to Maui about a month ago. Um, I turned 30 and Maui is one of my favorite places in the world to go relax. So we just went there for a week and I did a little filming and that film is coming out tomorrow. So stay tuned and lots more tutorials and all sorts of content will be coming out soon. And if you have any comments or questions, feel free to comment below and I'll try to answer some of those. Um, there's so many of you guys now that it's hard to keep up, but I'm trying to reply to your comments and um, answer any questions you guys have. And I'm gonna try to keep doing that as long as possible because I really do want you guys to learn and get better at filmmaking. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you have an amazing time on your travels and enjoy the filmmaking process. See you later, guys. Bye.